Most of us at one point or another have sat in these seats and watched a show here at the Paramount Theater, but what happens before the curtain's drawn and the lights go down? Well, today we're going to take you behind the scenes of what goes on backstage at the Paramount Theater. Come on. The Paramount Theater has hosted many plays, musicals, and concerts throughout the year, but to get to the performances requires hours of work. Everybody would be working in conjunction with getting this stage to look the way the audience is going to see it. Uh, and then at, at that point we run through sound checks and lighting checks and uh, you know, that sort of thing. Chuck Norwood is the technical and maintenance director at the Paramount, who along with a staff of three make up the production team. Because we want somebody on stage at all times and then we have somebody at the sound console and somebody at the light console. They are also responsible for making sure each light is set for every show. A set of electrics overhead that we color and focus per show. On the left side of the stage is a stairway of two flights. The first flight containing storage rooms full of lights, gels, and cables. But that wasn't their original purpose. But they used to be um, the actual dressing rooms of the theater. Above that is the theater's fly system, which helps drop down lighting and backdrops. We have a double purchase fly system, meaning uh, whatever weight is on any bar over stage has to be double the weight up in the fly system. Underneath the theater sits many areas such as the green room, art classrooms, and the pit. So this is a great room and right now we're under the, about the first five rows of seats in the house. The pit is the front part of the stage that can be adjusted to set up for orchestras or moving sets. However, the best seat in the house goes to the catwalk, which was added to the theater back in 1998. All of these areas are pretty much um, filled with lights. So once you're sitting down in and focusing and, and, and all of the things you need to do with the lights, I mean, you have to almost try to fall out. <laughs> the Paramount Theater was known as a movie theater back in 1921 called Sherman Theaters, and much of the original fixtures are still there today. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.